Today, I want to share with you the five core elements of super productivity and flourishing. These five core principles inside Make Time Flow are this new equation that I'm working toward. Building a system that's going to be fast and rapid for people to make their lives much easier, not using a radical transformation, but using small, subtle, guided features that move you toward the best practices possible. What are these things? First is time. For most adults, time is now one of your most precious commodities. Certainly if you have both work that you love, things that you're moving forward, and family and other activities that you love to do, then you know that you're making your choices each day about what it is that you're focusing on, what you think you're creating value in, and how you're choosing to spend your time. People who are not intentional about this, who just let the default go, this will experience this kind of life. The kind of life in which the pressures of work are ever present. There are people asking you for things all the time and setting expectation. And that bleeds into you working more and more and more, being more and more available. Your inability to set boundaries for things and your inability to have explained to you exactly what it is that you use to create value and then being able to create that value in a faster and faster time frame and still be recognized as really working hard, being a great team member is very hard to do in the current world. It's not the default. What that means is that work takes over more and more, especially with all these technologies. And then when you're getting home, you're not able to be present. You're not able to grow yourselves, relax, recharge, truly connect to the things that we know make a difference to a really good life. And that's having the time to spend cultivating and enjoying really great relationships. So that's the default, what you can expect if you're not being intentional with your time in today's world. Unfortunately, it gets a little bit worse because there's a ton of technologies that is trying to create this time and attention economy. And they're going to make their money by taking your time and attention in low value activities. Our brains are wired to respond to some of these things from the environment. Rich, saturated colors, intermittent reinforcement, and a feeling of control without a lot of emotional risk. Those are the things that TV and now extending into social media are using with social engineering behind it to try to capture your time and attention, which is incredibly valuable to you and could be used in the brain. So first, be intentional with your time. Second, what are you doing with your time? How do you think about it? And how do you plan that? And how do you understand that? And that's what I think of as tasking, right? Think of the time, that intentional task trust system. Another way that people manage their time and think about their time is through calendars. Right? So that's a way to think about time as blocks, generally blocks of time in a day, then blocks in a week, and then larger buckets, which become harder and harder for us as humans to think about. But sometimes we like to make these idealized things called longer term plans, which are generally mostly just directions for us. How you think about your calendar and what you do with your calendar can really be transformative in terms of what you spend your time doing. So what do people do who are not being intentional with the, the way they think about their calendars? Their calendars are mostly white space, which is being eaten up by meetings. And all of a sudden, that ability for you to spend time really getting to know something new that will move you, the company, your organization, your family forward in a radically new way, you don't have the time to do it. Or at most, you can do it in a very superficial way and you know it's not your best. That's what not being intentional with your calendar is really about. And there are two specific ways we'll talk about that we help you to think about using your calendar as a tool to help you design your time. All right, so we talked about being intentional with your time. We've talked about managing and understanding your tasks. We've talked about calendars. The other one is, how do those things relate? They should relate and align with meaning and purpose. We're good at certain times of the year, your birthday, right? Transitions like the school transition and the end of the year to think a little bit about how do the things that I'm doing align with what matters the most to me. But in general, we're not good at looking at it again and again. You should really try to do this both on a weekly basis and then at longer and longer basis. And I think that Three months is a great way to make like a detailed plan that helps you do something that really you can really achieve well. What does it look like if you're not being intentional with aligning your actions with your meaning and purpose? For most people, this is how they're doing it. They're going along. Sometimes they started something where like, yeah, I think I've joined this new organization or team or company and I, I believe in what they're doing, but now it's become just this grind. You're not sure how your work connects to your mission. You're doing it mostly because you're getting paid or people have expectations of you and you're not enjoying it in the same way. You don't have this feeling that you're choosing to be there and you're on this great adventure. 
at the same time, you've got sort of ideas. Yeah, I want to work out more. I want to achieve or do something or I want to have a great time with my family, but you're not being intentional and you're not crafting a great adventure for you, your family, your personal health and learning and moving towards other things. And so what happens is that the days and weeks are longer and more interminable than you think. And you are accomplishing far less in the year and years periods than you thought. That's the consequences of not being intentional with aligning your actions with your meaning and purpose and exploring. And then the final one is getting connected and getting help. Right? There are three layers that we think of in that setting. So one is there's a lot of do-it-yourselfers and they're like, great, just give me some tools, some knowledge and content. I'm going to go ahead and figure it out. Then a lot of other people are like, well, actually, I could really use being accountable with somebody else and I'd love to be part of a community of people who are trying to do this. That's important to provide as well. And then there's AI, which can be helpful in a lot of these areas and provide sort of an intermediate of those different areas. And sometimes a nice private space for you to have some of these conversations that you need to as you explore and re-explore your meaning and purpose, or even just think about getting those talks done that are hard for you to start because they're emotion. What are those five core things? Time, tasks, calendar, meaning and purpose, and then help. So how can you use this in the MakeTypeFlow platform? If you get an invitation code from us, you'll get the ability to sign up. We have a built-in software timer and then a hardware timer that can help you to be intentional with your time. The easy way to Use tools to help you reprogram your brain to really get into deep work and avoid distraction. And those are the longer time periods. Being intentional with your time with our cool timers. The next one is tasking. And I looked to just integrate with the best tasking systems out there. And as I did so, I realized there was a bunch of limitations. The major limitations are they're really great at getting your tasks in. And then they tend to show you it too often, which can be very distracting and stressful for us. And so instead, we use the concept of a task trust system. Yes, you want to get things out of your head and easily into a system. Then you want simple sorting, right? I don't want to be detailed date management. I want to just think about it in these general buckets. And then I'm going to use simple things to say, this is what I'm doing today. This is what I might do next and how I think about priorities. And then this is in my later bucket and I'll get to it at some point. At the same time, it needs to be really great getting things in. It needs to be really fantastic at helping get things out. Because a lot of the stuff that's there doesn't actually need to stay there. They're just ideas you've had or ways you think about integrating it, things that other people are responsible for, and you should get it out of your personal task system so you can stay clear and focused. Because of that, we've got a system built in that integrates with this intentional timer that lets you do your tasking and have this task trust system. It's even simpler than that. Many people struggle to have an intentional practice with the way they think about their tasks. And to help them with that, we use this ritual system where you can do most of your planning just in a great begin your day well ritual. We'll help you. Use reprioritization superpower to really have amazing days by helping you to make those tough choices that I actually get done when I needed to. What's the main focus for the rest of the day? And then we've got the system to help you shut down well, to help you have really great evenings and weekends. So time, tasks, plus rituals. And then we also have the tools to help you with your calendar, to help you really move from my time is being taken away from me to I've intentionally designed my time. The two tools that we offer you are integrating time blocking, the ability for me to go and make a great plan for the tasks I want to accomplish today and see in, a, in an easy to understand way, have I overcommitted? What's my actual plan to succeed? And then you're able to shuffle those around in blocks. Step one, time blocking, really powerful. The second way we do it is to help you design your time by blocking out your calendar and this protect my time feature. We provide a variety of different strategies, integrating some of the best cognitive high performance techniques that we've learned about into the simple strategies that you can choose. It'll then block off your calendar for the next week in a way that we think can help you to optimize knowledge work time or being a super parent or being a super student or being a super manager. And then blocks of time are now available for your team if they need you, but the rest of it is guiding you to do this really high performance work using deep work, using high performance breaks, making sure you reset and recharge, but also get done the reactive shallow work time that you need to do, being available for emails and meetings, and then the proactive shallow work time you do, keeping things moving well. We've talked about time, we've talked about tasks and rituals, we've talked about calendar, time blocking, as well as protect my time. And then we help you with tools to help you re-explore your meaning and purpose. And we use this through the flourishing map, which you'll create with the system, uh, and then the flourishing compass, which guides you to say, what's most important to me now? How do I think and rethink about it? We'll encourage you to rethink that whole map once every three months in the system where it'll just spontaneously say, hey, it's time to do that through an easy email system. And then once a week, we'll ask you to just reflect in a brief way on the domains that you're working on. 
it's not on everything. It's just in these short two week experiments to help move you forward in one or two domains that matter the most to you. All right. So we talked about time, talked about tasks and rituals, talked about calendars with both time blocking and protecting my time. We talked about meaning and purpose and aligning your actions to that through using the flourishing math that you'll build and flourishing compass that ties into the weekly goals that are integrated into the rituals that will keep you focused on your most important activities. And then the final one is the help. How do we think about AI being integrated in system that we're continuing to work on and develop? The immediate way that it's worked in the system is if you want this feature enabled, you need to contact us. We can flip it on for you. And then when you star a task and it's in your today bucket, meaning that it's going to be a focus for you, the system will go look at it and then see if AI can help you do it. It'll understand a little bit about who you are, what your goals are based on your weekly goals that you've set, what your focus is for today, and then any of the projects in that project. And they'll try to do three things. One is, should you break this down more? Two is, should somebody else do it? And three, can it just help you get started? I've seen people in the platform use it delightfully to it help them draft that quick email to that person and did it in under 30 seconds. And then they were able to get this to us, which they could have procrastinated on for quite a while. Done. All right. So that's the five core things that we have that I've been exploring, that we're trying to build tools using science and engineering to help move people toward flourishing. What are those five things? Time, being intentional with your time, task, task trust system, and using that with rituals to easily adopt the best practices for managing your task and time. Calendaring, using time blocking, as well as protect my time features, aligning meaning and purpose, and all your actions toward that meaning and purpose and re-exploring it, and then getting help. AI help is there. We also have coaches available, and then we've got this great community forum, which we'd love to have people who are doing really important, good work, and wanting to have wonderful lives can join us and share tips and tricks. And then Helly and I are also there participating and contributing the lessons and experiments that we do. How can you go ahead? We've got a bunch of other videos you can watch, a bunch of them talking about the Make Time Flow system and different products. We also have a bunch of workshops and we do training with different organizations. The other way is by joining one of our cohorts and getting an invitation code to join the Make Time Flow system, which is the online system that can walk you through it. There are self-guided programs that people can use to test out the system and help it to advance your life and move you more toward human flourishing and super productivity.